Thanks for watching guys. If you would like to join the channel as a member, please click the join button there or in the description. It starts off as only $1.49 a month and it helps me out massively. If you would like to join, please click the join button. All right, let's get to the video. Robo's played for both these teams, but how's this sledge from Hodgey? Pretty brutal. He's going to win. He reckons it's the Mitch Robertson Cup. Which means he has uh, father-son to both clubs. And he's, uh, he's been sacked by both clubs, so the loser of the game gets the Mitch Robinson medal. <laughs> ben Keyes leaves his arms out way too long, and the umpire tells him to put his arms down. He doesn't and gives away an easy 50 metre penalty. I'm okay with this one. But they're going to say it was actually a handball back to a teammate. Oh! And 50 metres has been given again. It's Keyes. Oh. And guys, just quick as their handball receives. Daniel Rioli must be pretty lucky as he got a bit of bird poo on his Guernsey here. Billy Frampton's kicked this goal from about 53 metres out and it takes the score review so long to determine this was a goal. He's actually had time to go and take a seat on the bench and they celebrate from there. I reckon Darcy Moore has actually helped Francis mark this ball. In the end it was pay to mark and then Aaron Francis goes back and completely shanks the kick. So Francis to tie things up once again and he misses. So if you've just joined us. Jack Gunston has had a moment to forget. Probably one of the easiest goals he'll ever kick and he's just completely missed the ball. And I don't think it got over the line anyway, JB, but he missed at a complete airy. Just wouldn't sit up that ball, would it? It was one of them ones that just kept running. A bit of confusion with this one. It didn't look like a 15 metre kick. Haywood marks the ball. Jordan Dugowie holds on. You can hear one umpire say play on, but it's pay to mark. And I guess ball don't lie because Haywood too shanks the kick. To extend Sydney's margin to seven points. Some of the goals this year are awesome. Watch this bicycle kick from Majacek. This was awesome. Isaac Smith is going to claim that he meant to do this, but I think he was just chipping the ball forward to run onto it. But it goes through for a goal. And doesn't he love it? Dunstan won't get a stat for this, but his tap towards Charlie Cameron was excellent, which led towards a Brisbane goal. The game at this point is clearly won, but Jeremy Cameron still puts up an effort. This just shows how much he loves the game and loves the club. That's got to hurt too. Just launched himself from the side. Joe Danaher has booted this from 65 metres out. I wish I was able to boot it that far. What a bomb. Or just says, Move, Dacos. Your brother's better. Pendlebury in support. Sticks it out in front of Quainer and Dacos. Dacos says, Keep coming, and then Quainer ran straight through him. High footy, no one gave it Somehow not front on contact, but Cozzy does a little pirouette and kicks a very nice goal. Cozzy with the spin. Kazaya on fire. Cameron absolutely slams Chincotta with an elbow to the ribs. That must have hurt. Dunkley drops. Petty gives away a lazy 50 metre penalty, then Collins kicks it to Alex Neil Bullen almost, and then he runs on to kick a point. Cut off Alex Neil Bullen. Can he collect it though? He does. Runs inside 50 and can't make them pay. Filippo takes probably the mark of the round here for me. The landing looked like it would have hurt his bum pretty bad. Rambled away for Hunter Clark. Filippo! Oh, but look at that! Massive! <laughs> Saint Matthias! The awareness from the bont here is excellent. He's tackled. You can see that he makes eye contact with the umpire. The umpire puts the whistle to the mouth. The bont realises he's going to pay holding the ball. So he basically just throws the ball out and it's play on. Very quick and very heads up play here by the bont. Umpire let it go a long time, Trelaw. A little umpire blunder here. You can see that the umpire pays this as a mark, even before the mark was taken, and then has to call play on. Drills it. Oh, oh it was paid. 
shouldn't have been, but it was. Sharp. I think Van Royen will be in trouble for this one. It looks like he takes his eyes off the ball and then hits Ballard high. I would expect at least a week for this, or if not, a very hefty fine. This will make an appearance in the suspensions video as well. Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, please comment. The Gold Coast Suns were robbed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.